Enterprise or a sports, I'm sorry, agency. And I got to know it, and it's, it's such an important thing to have a team in a community. And when you look back at whether basketball stayed or didn't, you didn't have anything in a city that's the, the, the capital of the fifth largest economy in the world. Um, so it, it's, it seems to me a place that doesn't get as much credit as it should and is a bigger opportunity and you lay that into how soccer will do here and where soccer is in its growth cycle. Well, I think on any investment I look at, you have to look at anything you do as if you're going to own it forever. I don't think you, you look at anything unless you imagine you're going to own it forever. And I think here, whether you think some teams will be profitable, some won't, or whether you think you know, it might be five years before all teams are profitable, it might be two years, it might be ten years, you're really trying to build the value of a business. And if you focus just on profitability, you make a big mistake. I think you have to, you have to focus on the experience. And, you know, the analogy I'd use with our, with our hockey team was you said, we're going to win or we're going to get caught trying. And our fans know that. And so if you look at the third sport in a, in a similar sized town, we're number one or number two in almost every category. And whether it's TV ratings or it's, it's um, internet impressions, social media impressions, um, whether it's on team marketing. And I look at it and I think you need to make that kind of investment here and you need to make that kind of investment in MLS that if you give the fans the right experience, if you build a new facility, you give them a quality experience, you'll get the loyalty from the community and the, the profits will follow. I don't think you can let profits drive your decisions or you'll make bad decisions and they'll be short-term decisions. Again, for two reasons. I don't want to use what happened in Pittsburgh is every example, but we control the property across from us, and I think you want to control your environment. I think that helps build the fan experience. And so that property will add value and it will help us because when this originally got started, the franchise fee was, I think at one point, somewhere closer to 100 million, and we walked in, it was 150, and it ended up being 200 as MLS got more and more popular and more and more people were trying to get franchises. And at the same time, the stadiums were getting more and more expensive. So from a financial perspective, that helps justify and helps, you know, if we can imagine that we can build things there and build profitable things there, it helps us bring the price into context. But again, more importantly than bringing the price into context, it helps us control the experience that we can program what goes across the street. Look, it's a, it's a free market world. And when the price went up to 200, the price went up to 200. Um, obviously, we felt we were here and ready when it was 150, and we wished it was still 150. But the commissioner worked with us, we all worked together, and, and um, we came to a place where we thought we could make the 200 work.